Hi and welcome to this video on finding a lost BitLocker recovery key. I've done another video on BitLocker uh, in looking at a very specific scenario and got quite a lot of comments from people who were stuck at the BitLocker recovery key screen on their computer um, asking where to find this key basically. Um, so I thought I'd do a relatively quick video just looking at uh, what options you have in creating your BitLocker recovery key uh, and where you might find it as a result. To start with, let's look at a scenario where you're already within Windows. If you've got access to Windows, you simply need to open an elevated command prompt. That is, right-click on the command prompt option and choose the Run as Administrator, um, and then type in the command as I've shown here in the, uh, in the screenshot. This will bring back the hard drive identity, but more importantly, the password field, which is your BitLocker recovery key. Now let's look at a scenario where you are not able to get into Windows. When you originally encrypted your hard drive, you will have seen a screen such as one of these uh, with three or four options on it for storing your recovery key for BitLocker. There is no option to skip at this point, so your recovery key will have been captured somewhere. There are some videos around which claim to have a hack for BitLocker to skip the recovery key. Uh, I would strongly recommend not wasting time on those. They don't tend to work um, for people. And really what you need to focus on is the original options to identify where exactly you did store the recovery key that will unencrypt your drive correctly. So first and foremost, the question is, is this a personal device or a company device? For anything that's owned by a company or indeed on a domain of some variety, please do check immediately with your IT administrator or IT department. The reason I say that is they have other options. So it is quite possible that the recovery key has been sent to Active Directory, Safeguard or another system that captures those individually. The next step I'd recommend is to check this website. The reason is that the first option for Windows 10 is to be able to save to your Microsoft account. That does only work if you've been signing in using a Microsoft account, but there's no harm in trying. So if you visit that site and log on with a Microsoft identity, you know, like a Hotmail address or a Live.com address, um, you will very quickly be listed any recovery keys that are associated to your account. For all the other methods, you're effectively saving a copy of a file. So I thought I'd show you now what that file looks like. These aren't real recovery keys, um, but you can see there are two key pieces of information in here. So we've got what it calls an identifier. That is simply a piece of information that identifies the hard drive that's been encrypted. So it's used in here to encourage you to make sure that it's the correct hard drive that you're checking the code for, particularly relevant if uh, you've got multiple drives encrypted. The most important piece of information is the recovery key towards the bottom. It's very long and painful to type, but that is the key piece of information you really need to get hold of. So let's look at those methods again. So the second option was around a USB key, a USB flash drive. So it is worth still looking for that. It may be something you've forgotten about, but it's likely to be something you maybe wrote the word BitLocker or Recovery or something on. So take a look. Again, you're looking on that for a file that's got the word Recovery Key on it um, and it's going to have that content as I showed on the last, last screen. It's quite common, actually, um, for people to print them. Um, I'm somewhat baffled by that in this day and age, but uh, it's quite possible you printed it or indeed wrote down just that key recovery key information. So it's worth looking in the kind of places you keep secure information, such as your passport. It is quite possible that you've written it down there and long since forgotten about it. And the last one and a real common fatal mistake is people save the file, but actually save it directly onto the drive they then encrypt. So it it is worth considering, did you leave it on that drive, actually save that file locally um, to the C drive and encrypt that very drive? Um, if that's the case, that's going to be a challenge, but it's again worth thinking around that. Did you save it to a part of the drive that in fact goes up to a cloud service such as Dropbox or OneDrive itself, in which case you may be able to recover that file? Otherwise, think about backups. 
you may have lost the data that's directly on your current hard drive but do you have backups of that data and if you do is there any chance that the recovery key itself was saved as part of that backup so again worth looking for that information before you actually wipe your hard drive That's as much information as I can share. I have no magic solution here, but uh, there are enough comments showing that people don't necessarily know all the options that were available to them in the first place. So I hope this video has been helpful in outlining what options there are. Thank you very much for watching.